The word astigmatism makes you feel as if you have some sort of hopeless condition in your eye. But that's not really the case. In fact, astigmatism is usually the first one to disappear when you practice simple natural vision improvement techniques. A helpful information for you to know is that stigmatism is mostly acquired and lower degrees of stigmatism come and go throughout the day. In fact, studies have proven that 1.5 to 3 diopters of stigmatism can be produced by inducing eye strain. Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi. In this video, we'll talk about what stigmatism is and possible causes of stigmatism from the mind-body-emotional aspect. So what is stigmatism? A stigmatism is a common vision condition that causes blurred vision that can prevent people from seeing objects clearly, up close or at a distance. A stigmatism can develop by itself or more often develop in conjunction with nearsightedness, farsightedness, or middle-aged sight called presbyopia. Astigmatism occurs when the focus of an eye is clear at certain angles, for example, horizontal line, 180 degrees, but focus at other angles are not as clear. As you can see in the image, the line in focus looks solid black, whereas the blurry line seems to have ghost lines as if they are doubled or tripled rather than just smudged. This happens when the light rays converge unequally on the retina, which is on the back of the eye. The brain then tries to make a sense out of unfocused image and makes an attempt to sharpen it by configuring a second or third set of fake lines parallel to the real one. In other words, the brain analyzes the blur and reconfigures the information to make sense of the image. And thus, in this sense, blurred image from astigmatism is the work of your brain. Now you know what astigmatism is, next let's talk about possible causes of astigmatism. You'll be surprised to know what could be causing your astigmatism. You probably were told that your astigmatism was caused by your misshaped cornea, lens, or eyeball, and that nothing can be done except wearing glasses, contact lenses, or getting a surgery. The truth is that the cause of stigmatism can be from different source other than physically misshaped cornea lens or eyeball. The possible causes of stigmatism include the followings. Many times, stigmatism is related to simple eye strain, where eye strain can be caused by factors such as wearing glasses or contacts, or prolonged close-up work like reading or working at the computer or screen or cell phone. These situations can cause your extra ocular muscles get tensed up and can deform the shape of the eye. Astigmatism can develop after an eye injury or eye surgery. One of the side effects of LASIK surgery is astigmatism. As an example, one of my students had a LASIK surgery done on both eyes when she was 26 years old. Then, three years later, she started seeing little blurry again and found out that she developed minus 1.5 diopters astigmatism in both eyes. Often, people with astigmatism tend to have a tight or restricted posture and movement. Elliot Forrest, an optometrist, found a relationship between head movement, posture, and visual scanning. If you use a computer or read a lot, then you tend to scan from along the horizontal meridian and neglect the vertical meridian, resulting in stigmatism in that neglected meridian, in this case, vertical lines. You have imbalanced the posture by habitually tilting your head to one side. This bad posture can cause stigmatism. Stigmatism also can be caused by wearing bifocal, trifocal, or progressive lenses. When you wear these lenses, you have to frequently tilt your head back to read or look at the computer screen. This posture can cause uneven muscle tension pattern, producing astigmatism. Constant downward gaze by looking down to read a book, your laptop or mobile device, or other visual tasks involving downward can produce eyelid pressure, causing corneal distortion-related astigmatism. Astigmatism may also result from a twisting of the spine, pelvis, or neck. For example, neck injury or whiplash in automobile accidents can develop spontaneous astigmatism. According to Dr. Robert Mendelson, renowned pediatrician, astigmatism in babies and children can come from the 
birth trauma, including forcep deliveries, glaring hospital lights, or antibiotic eye drops, or eye ointments used in newborn babies. Severe mental shock can introduce long record of asthmatism. Internal conflict caused by your thoughts and belief that you are not suitable or not good enough can increase asthmatism, believe it or not. Seeing the world as painful, exhausting, or hurtful all the time can develop astigmatism. Some kids who are physically or sexually abused can develop astigmatism. You just learned what astigmatism is and its possible causes. In traditional optical industry, astigmatism is treated with glasses, contact lenses, or surgery in an attempt to help you see clearly. However, Lower degrees of astigmatism come and go, diminish, and increase throughout the day. Therefore, the same astigmatism correction in your glasses or contacts cannot work on the affected eye all the time because it changes all the time. Perhaps that's why people feel much better with no more headaches and experience more relaxed seeing when they eliminate astigmatism correction in their lenses. Contact us if you need any assistance in healing your astigmatism naturally. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please share it with your friends. Hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe.